I guess my first tarantula is nothing. That's disappointing. Gotcha. Here they are. Always check your box. Hi everyone. Um, I held a contest a couple weeks ago and this is for our Tarantula YouTube Facebook group members and it was a trial run for me to see um, how, how it goes running a contest. Uh, the prize was something that I created and I decided to make it something special for the winner. I have known who the winner is for about a week um, and it took me some time to um, figure out what I was going to create and uh, then I messed up on one of them and didn't like it so that was an evening I just scrapped and started over and I'm relatively satisfied with what I have. Um, you know, we're always our own worst critics. This was a Guess the Sling contest where I ordered six slings from Netbug and I asked my fellow YouTube um, Tarantula members, Tarantula YouTube members to guess which six I ordered. So they had access to the site and they could go there. And I told them, the only hint I told them was they're all New World, um, New World slings. Um, so I have uh, several people um, that guessed. I had, let's see, Driven Rain guessed um, T. Okerti, G. Pulchra, C. Cyanio pubescens, L. Parahibana, C. Versi, and Choco Golden Meat. You got one of them correct. Next, going on to Boxing Boa. Boxing Boa guessed Avic, Avic, G. Pulchra, H. Pulchrapace, P. Metallica, Euaclis species, uh, Cochiana burnapes. So let's see, Boxing Boa got one right. Tarantula Haven guessed Gramostola Pulchra. Chromatopelma cyanio pubescens, and this one I've never pronounced before. Ebiropora, Ebiropora diversipes, Brachypelma amelia, Euaclis species red, and Gramostola pulchrapes. And Tarantula haven got one correct. Spidey V guessed B. Amelia, G. Rosea, G. Pulchra, G. Hamori, Curly Hair, and G. Pulchrapace. And Spidey V, sorry, you got zero correct. The eighth page tarantulas guessed G. Pulchra, Y. Diversipace, A. Geniculata, B. Amelia, and Tripepi and P. Sazimai. And the eighth page tarantulas, you got one correct. Collection of Unseen Nature guessed Brachypelma smithi, Ramasola pulchrapace, Aphonopelma something, Brachypelma albopelosum, and Gramostola rosea, and Lasiodora parahypana. And I'm going to say that you got one and a half correct because you said a phonopelma something. Arachnophilia guessed but did not want to enter the contest and guessed um, Euathlis species red, A. geniculata, GBB, C. versi, P. cams, and B. vagans. And we got two correct. Molt and Bolt Exotics guessed Brachypelma vegans, vagans, vegans, Brachypelma emilia, Gramostola rosea, Nandu chromatis, Salmopoas arminia, and Phonopelma calcides, and Molt and Bolt Exotics got one correct. Z Tesh guessed G. pulchra and chromatis. P. Arminia, L. Parahibana, and H. Columbia, large, and D. 
fasciatus, fa fasciatus, fasciatus pentalorus. And Zetesh got two correct. Sorry, Andrew, I missed your entry as it was buried in the comments. Andrew guessed E. Campostratus, L. Parahibana, B. Amelia, B. Cabocla, Y. Diversipes, and T. Violaceus. Andrew, you got two correct. Erie arachnids guessed Brachypelma Amelia, Laziadora Parahibana, Nandu Chromatis, Aphonopelma, Burica, Uapalastris, Campostratus, and Gramostola pulchra. And Erie arachnids got four correct. Eerie Arachnids is our winner, and what he will receive is this painting. This is a, an acrylic painting. It's one of a kind, and it is um, taken from, from Dave of Eerie Arachnids from his own photograph of his green bottle blue female, Nikita. He sent me the picture. And uh, I, uh, I painted it. I know it's, it's not exact, um, and I am at most considered to be a naive artist. The slings that, that I ordered were El Parahibana, Euathlis species red, A. Burica, A. Geniculata, E. Campostratus, and Nandochromatis. So good job everyone and congratulations Dave and you know where to find me. I'm going to need your address. The uh, heat pack is still nice and warm. Uh, here's a card. Okay, so back to what we were doing. We have the Euathlis species red. Oh, look at that's a tiny little baby. That is the tiniest baby I have ever had. I'm really glad that I made tiny holes. I didn't know what to expect. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Talk about adorable. Come on, tiny spood. Sorry, I'm shaking. My left hand is not a, a very happy one. So it'll be important that I don't get these mixed up because they're so little. And you know, I really cannot tell them apart. So, I'm just thinking of the horror of if I got these mixed up, I would have to wait many months, maybe, before I could figure out who's who. I'm also really glad that I have tiny crickets. So that little cricket farm that I started, I think that was beneficial. I am going to place the cap. Look at that. So little and cute, look, so tiny. Ta-da! The Eupalestris campostratus, also known as the pink zebra beauty. The E. campostratus is supposed to be an absolutely wonderful pet spider, pet tarantula, and some people recommend it more than rose hair or any of the other little spoods. Gonna be a quick little bugger. Already coming out to say hello. So this is number two. My left hand is still not fully functioning, so come on, little one. You got this. There you go. I don't want to forget to put this in here. So this next one is supposed to be an Acanthoscuria geniculata. Um, that looks like a BR. I guess I have one that I didn't expect. There we go, a tiny spood with uh, cocoa fiber in it, but I was not su successful 
Dave from Area Arachnids had recommended some. Next up here is Lassiodora parahybana. And I just acquired one of these a few days ago. It's a bigger, bigger sling. Um, there's a guy who's going out of the hobby here in town and he had one he gave me for free. How could I pass it up? So now I'm going to have two of these beauties. All right. So there we have a little LP. My other LP is throwing threat postures. The minute I opened the container and checked them out and tried to offer him something to eat. I think that that one is in, whoops, I forgot. I'll, see, I almost made a mistake and forgot to put this in here. That one is in pre-molt. So this little one, welcome to your new home. You got lots of room here. You're probably not gonna go in that burrow, are you? And as you can see, these are the containers that I made on the drill press the other day. They have absolutely tiny holes. I almost thought about going a little bit bigger, but I'm really glad that I didn't. Dun, da, da, da. Who do you think it is? Nandu chromatis. The Nandu chromatis is smaller than the E species red. I'll have to post the common names after when I'm editing the video because honestly, a lot of them I don't even know. That's why I was so confused when I opened the pink zebra beauty. I was like, PZB, what? what is that? Oh my goodness, look at this little tiny whoa. <laughs> the little tiny whoa. Hi, hi, hi. You are a little spood. I am going to be going on a trip to get fruit flies, I can tell. I could also give them um, free kill. I mean, here's my finger. My fingers are not very big, and um, you can see how little this one is. It's my first tiny, tiny, tiny spider unbox unboxing. This is my little Nandu Chromatis. Aha, I found the den. One more, and that is the Afona Palma Burica. Okay, here you go. Here's, here's a little spood trying to squeeze out right there. So I'm going to take this Afona Palma Burica and I'm going to put it in there. <laughs> So you can see the packing uh, from Netbug was really nice, was excellent actually. Um, came with the little vials, so it's these little tiny, tiny, tiny little slings. Each one was labeled. All of these that they came in were labeled. They were nice and cozy in there. They had some moist towel tucked in, so they had a cozy spot where they wouldn't flop around. Uh, each one of these came pre-labeled with the substrate in it in case I was going to use them. And the, the babies themselves were packed inside of this cup with this stuffing. Babies packed here. Okay, it was packed in like this. Like this. Some more paper. Then it had the heat pack which is still warm and it's also cushioned with some more paper to keep it from getting too hot. That's very, very nice. Um, this, of course, had uh, has uh, styrofoam inside. Besides the styrofoam, there's also a USPS bubble wrap around the outside layer, so that's an added layer of insulation and support. So I'm very happy. I'm very happy with this order. It went well. Bye. <laughs>